The Paris Saint-Germain machine will not be the first to eat up and spit out players, including Manuel Ugarte. The £50 million acquisition by Manchester United joins a group of players that arrived in the French capital at great expense but never lived up to expectations, including Mauro Icardi, Goncalo Gages, Gis Rodriguez, Julian Draxler, and Jagors Krikowiak. Barely a year after signing, PSG coach Luis Enrique has made his decision on Ugarte. Ugarte's ability to succeed or fail at one of the strictest clubs in the world will undoubtedly depend on how he handles his painful rejection in Paris. Because Ugarte has not yet witnessed what he believed PSG to bring about international attention. Apart from Real Madrid and Barcelona, no other football team in the globe attracts as much attention, discourse, and analysis as United. He has the lineage, which is excellent news. A fundamental tenet of contemporary football is that if Marcelo Bielsa thinks highly of you, you're certainly a respectable player. Ugarte is an important part of the Uruguay team that won the Copa America this summer. Furthermore, a player's life at PSG does not define them. There is a Christopher Nkunku or Kingsley Coman for every Icardi or G's. Yes, both were academy products, but neither had PSG's support and went on to succeed elsewhere. Komen even scored the game-winning goal for Bayern Munich in the 2020 Champions League final against his former team. Ugarte will undoubtedly find it difficult to emulate them. Even though Eric Ten Hag received a new contract in July, United is still a work in progress, and if things don't go well, the Dutchman will likely face pressure once more. Here, we examine United's most recent major acquisition. Ugarte is a fairly easy player to evaluate. He's got the winning ball. When he does retake control, he will battle like a lion and usually play a simple pass to the closest teammate. Ugarte might be the ideal successor to Case Miro, who turns 33 in February, and allow Kabi Menu greater latitude to operate closer to the opposition's goal. This isn't a panic purchase by United either, as the player chose Paris over the club's offer a year ago despite the latter's intense interest in Ugarte following his stellar season with Sporting Club of Portugal. It was believed at the time that Ugarte was hesitant to relocate to England in order to serve as Casemiro's deputy. As Ugarte is undoubtedly being signed to be in Ten Hag's first choice eleven, it shouldn't be an issue going forward. Thus, Ugarte ought to give Menu more leeway and let Bruno Fernandes focus more on his strengths. As a former sporting player, Ugarte is also used to playing in front of boisterous supporters. If United supporters are searching for signs, one of their former players, a certain Cristiano Ronaldo, also played for both teams. The issue with Ugarte is that his strongest suit can also turn into a weakness. His consistent, if constrained, style is more than sufficient against most teams. On the other hand, there are doubts regarding it against the best. Although Claude Makélélé, who expertly anchored midfield for Chelsea, France, and Real Madrid, has been likened to Ugarte, football has evolved since then. Holding midfielders have to be more than just destroyers to compete at the highest level. For that reason, in PSG's most important games at the close of the previous season, Luis Enrique favored a midfield trio consisting of Vitinha, Fabian Ruiz, and Warren Zairemery. It's important to address this. Vitinha is a more well-rounded football player than Manuel Ugarte. Sergio Busquets is the current number SIXS prototype. The former Barcelona and Spain player was not only an expert at regaining possession of the ball, but he was also an expert at advancing his team once he had it back. In addition to having 22 goals and 21 assists in 172 Premier League appearances for Manchester City, Rodri now handles the job better than anyone. Ugarte would do well to meet those goals, and Joao Neves, the youthful, deep-lying playmaker from Benfica, has taken Ugarte's spot at PSG. In his first two games, Neves tallied four assists, which is one more than Ugarte had in his 37 assists the previous season. That figure encapsulates the main reasons PSG were happy to let him go, and the reasons some believe he won't measure up at Old Trafford. Ugarte, who was born in April 2001, the same month that legendary Dutchman Ruud van Nistelrooy signed a contract to become a player for United, will look to follow in the footsteps of the four-time champion Dutchman. 
Diego Forlan is another person to aspire to be like. Even though Agarte's fellow Uruguayan enjoyed his best years after departing United, the majority of fans still have positive memories of him. The 23-year-old knows how to handle stress. When he was barely 15 years old, he made his professional debut for his native Phoenix. When he was 19, he relocated about 6,000 miles away from home to join the Portuguese club Famalico. Benfica, Sporting, and Porto are European heavyweights with devoted fan following, despite the Portuguese top flight not being on the same level as the Premier League. To deal with that, you need character. Ugarte is the kind of player who can help United get back to the top of the Premier League if he is handled wisely. It's quite another matter completely whether he is the one to take Rodri to task and win.